In C++, the behavior of character pointer is different from other normal pointers. So character pointer is mostly used to point to string literals since strings are themselves a sequence of characters. And when we try to print character pointer, it has behavior very different from other pointers. So in other pointers, if we have an int pointer and we try to print it, where a is an int then it will print the address that is stored in that pointer whereas if we compare it to character pointer so it's also storing this c but when we try to print this it will print the actual character followed by some uh, random characters and this randomness is because uh, it expects that all the string literals will be terminated by null characters or if we are creating a character array then the last character should be the null character then it will just print those characters otherwise it will go on printing uh, the contents of the memory until it finds a null character so these may be very strange characters So how can we print the address of uh, the character pointer? So in order to print that, we have to typecast it to void star. So here we have the same example, but instead of directly printing the CPTR, we are casting it to void star. So this will print, it can also print just A, but it, it can also print some random characters after that because uh, this does not have any null terminated character in the end this is just one character but if we try to cast it to void pointer and then try to print it it will print the actual address associated with that character now let's try to understand string literals because understanding string literals is very important for understanding character pointers so string literals are a sequence of characters like this one here so it's equivalent to an array of characters because array is nothing but a sequence of elements in them. But one difference is that this is null terminated. So by null character we mean this character. So it's a sky value zero. So null character is appended as an additional character in the end. So internally this string is not ABCD but ABCD and then followed by null in the last as the last character. So this is not equivalent to this array, this character array. It's equivalent to this character array. And it makes a huge difference uh, while using character pointers. You should understand that when you declare a string literal like this, it's internally this five characters, not four characters. So first let's see the case where we initialize a character pointer with the string literals. So we have a character pointer C1 and we initialize it with string literal ABCD. So the starting address is assigned the first character in the literal. So here A C1 is basically pointing to A. So, uh, and it's good to use const char star since these uh, string literals are immutable. So better to write const keyword here. Otherwise you may get uh, uh, warnings during your compilation process. So now uh, let's see some example like when we try to print this C1 it will print A, B, C, D and here it will not print any garbage characters because it automatically uh, appends that fifth character this null character in the end and uh, this strlen function is uh, defined in such a way that it will return 4 it will ignore this last character and when we try to print size of this character pointer it will again give 8 on 64 bit machine or it may give 4 so the typical size of pointers on that system Now let's see another case where we initialize a character array with string literals. So earlier we saw uh, we had initialized character pointer with string literals. So this is slightly different. 
so we have a character array and we have initialized with ABCD so internally the compiler expands it as A B C D and it adds this null character in the end so this is a character with size 5 so it looks like 4 but the compiler has internally added this null character for it to function correctly for string literals and when we, when we print it it will correctly print ABCD and after D it finds this null character so it will not print anything and when we do strlen this function is defined in such a way that it will take this four characters only and it will ignore the null character so it will give a length of four as expected because we expect that it should print this length to be four and when we do size of c2 it will print five we have added just four characters and we have assigned it to character array so we expect that there are four characters in this array but it will print five because there is one additional character which we are not seeing this is implicit so it's important to uh, remember it and here we are explicitly uh, assigning a character array to this character array variable so compiler will not correct it for you and this is a wrong case because we may get some undesired results so here we are assigning just four characters when we print c3 it will print abcd but it's not guaranteed that it will just print abcd it can print some extra characters because it will stop when it finds a null character and we have not given it so it may or may not get a null character after that memory address and this strlen will also not work correctly and it will print how many characters it finds without null termination in the end so in this case suppose it prints three extra characters then the strlen will give seven and size of this c3 will this time give four because we have explicitly added four elements to it now let's see all of these in xcode so this is the case earlier case where we cannot print the address using just this cptr in normal pointers when we just print this pointer it will print an address but here it will print this a followed by some extra characters similarly here and when we uh, want to uh, print the address then we have to typecast it to void star and then it will print the address in this case so let's run it and see so here it prints a and it has given some extra line we have not given any extra new line we have just one new line character here and it has printed an extra space a new line here and similarly here and when we cast it it prints the address correctly now this is the first case where we are assigning it to character pointer the string literal and this the compiler implicitly adds one null character so it correctly prints even abcd and strlen return fours and size of c1 returns eight on this system it can return four on some systems the typical size of pointer on that system and then we have third case where we are assigning a string literal to a character array so here also this array is implicitly holding five characters and the compiler does that implicitly for us so here also this will print correctly because it after d it finds the null character and size of strlen returns four because this has four characters and we see that size of here returns five but we have added just four characters but we saw that the compiler will expand it to make it an array of five characters where the last character is null character so in fact it's an array of five characters so it prints five now the last case where we incorrectly and explicitly added just four characters so here the compiler will not expand our array we have explicitly written an array here we had just given a string literal so here it's just four characters and when we try to print it we see that it printed a b c d but again it printed some extra characters because it did not find the null character in the end and this strlen will exactly return whatever 
it thinks the string is. So it prints 8 because it thinks there are 8 characters in the string. And size of C3 is 4 in this case because we are explicitly adding 4 characters. So how can we correct this? It prints wrong characters so we have to just add one null character and now let's rerun it and now it should be corrected. So we see that these two cases are now same. So whatever compiler did for us and what we explicitly written. So that's all for character points. See you in the next lesson.